For example, in, in a tomato, there's one phytochemical chemical called leukopene that has been proven powerful on breast and prostate cancers. Now, look at our children. Neurological problems, ADD, ADHD, dyslexia, Tourette's, and the list goes on. Look at the increased rates of cancers and things like that. You know, the National Cancer Institute and Cancer Treatment Centers of America will tell you that cruciferous, vine-ripened fruits and vegetables are your best defenses against cancers. Some places will tell you to start juicing, juicing, you know, raw fruits and vegetables. Why? Because they're looking for the phytochemicals. And there's actually 12 cruciferous, vine-ripened fruits and vegetables that your body has got to have. And look at our kids. Most kids eat four vegetables a day. French fries, French fries, French fries, and ketchup. But really, look at the potato chip machines and the pot machines in the, in the school lunchrooms nowadays. The kids just don't eat like they used to. And you know what? Grandma was right. Eat your vegetables. She was right all along. But you know, how many people can sit down and eat 12 vine-ripened servings of, of fruits and vegetables on a daily basis? And secondly, how much would it cost you to buy them? You know, you're talking about a lot of money to buy 12 servings of cruciferous vine-ripened fruits and vegetables. You can't buy them vine-ripened, but if you could, it cost you a lot. But you do need to cover that technology. The third science in the human body is known as regulation. It's also known as the endocrine system. Now, there's 87 hormones in the human body, 17 of which are sexual and reproductive. The other 70 control everything. You know, women with, with endocrine system imbalance notice things such as endometriosis, cycle problems, fibrocystic breasts, breast cancers, depression, headaches, infertility, and the list goes on. Men, a lot of times it's anger, stress, temperaments, abilities to cope, sweat problems. You know, it's all endocrine system imbalance. So, you know, we know about the hormone replacement therapies. That's a very delicate system. You don't want to be doing that. And they've proven the, 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 that a lot of that stuff causes cancers now. But your body is designed to have something called natural plant sterols, which are just raw food components that allow for your body's natural production of hormones. Now, your master hormone is called pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is to the body like flour is to baked goods. I don't care if you're making chocolate chip cookies or a chocolate cake or what you're making. Flour is a raw precursor for that entity. So again, you know, you look at plant sterols that allow for the body's production of pregnenolone. Now the body can make all the rest of the 86... hormones upon demand. So that's very, very important. Now, communication, defense, and regulation is like oil, water, and gas is in your car. And you just don't get very far without those three ingredients. They're very, very important, especially at keeping you walking and talking with a smile on your face and feeling good. Now, the fourth science in the human body is called nutrition. And we've probably heard that word before. Nutrition is defined as how the body feeds itself at the cell level. It's also known as vitamins, minerals, so again, you know, you look at plant sterols that allow for the body's production of pregnenolone. Now the body can make all the rest of the 86 hormones upon demand. So that's very, very important. Now, communication, defense, and regulation is like oil, water, and gas is in your car. And you just don't get very far without those three ingredients. They're very, very important, especially at keeping you walking and talking with a smile on your face and feeling good. Now, the fourth science in the human body is called nutrition. And we've probably heard that word before. Nutrition is defined as how the body feeds itself at the cell level. It's also known as vitamins, minerals, and trace elements. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of that because they've been harping on that for about 30, 35 years, that we need vitamins, minerals, and trace elements. In fact, the Journal of the American Medical Association, just in January of 2003, just published that you need to supplement now because you cannot get it from the food chain. But, you know, vitamins and minerals and trace elements are designed to be absorbed in the body through something called a food matrix. They are not designed to come from rocks, water, and dirt. Plants eat rocks, water, and dirt. We eat the plants. See, the plant swallows it, puts it into a food matrix, it digests it, we eat the plants, and that's how we get our vitamins and minerals. It takes 1,000 milligrams of ascorbic acid to equal one milligram of pure vitamin C, like you get from an orange. So make sure that your vitamins and minerals are in a natural, food matrix form. Now, if you're not really sure, most people get defensive and say, well, mine are natural. Well, they all say natural, so how do you really know? A good test would be to wake up in the morning on an empty stomach and take about three or four of your vitamins. If they make your tummy upset about three or four hours later, then they're probably synthetic because food vitamins do not upset the stomach. You know, you ever, you ever think about this for a minute? 
And if vitamins and minerals are classified as nutrition, which is food, then why do you have to have food with it? I mean, do you all have breakfast before you have breakfast? Do you always stop and have dinner before you go have dinner somewhere? You see, if it's food, why do we have to have food with it? It shouldn't make you sick. That's the difference between synthetic and, synthetic and natural. Now, the fifth science in the human body is called digestion. Now, if you don't think that's important, just wait till it doesn't work. You know, digestion is real important. You know, when you eat food, it goes down into the stomach cavity. The probiotics, digestive enzymes, and flora break that food up and send it into this long corrugated tube that would reach from here to that back wall. You think, well, that's crazy. It only needs to be about that long. But in fact, that's where your body gets its nutrition. You know, as the body breaks it down and sends it down into this long corrugated tube, you know, your body takes its vitamins and its minerals and its lipids and its proteins and whatever it wants, and then the rest goes on to the river. That's called waste. Well, if your body is unable to do that correctly, then you've got a real problem on your hands. Most doctors will tell you disease starts in the colon. 35% of all cancers today are colon related. So, you know, we're the most obese nation in the world. And you see, it's not a problem with the elbow, unable to stop putting food in the mouth. My grandma was right there too. Garbage in, garbage out. You know, most of the food we're eating, you know, there's an old expression, if it comes in a box, a jar, a can, or a sack, don't buy it. It has no nutrition in it. So, you know, usually it's the cardboard is more probably nutritious than what's in the box. So, you know, we're eating all this food. I call it a potato chip mentality, you know, the fast foods. And, you know, what does flour and water make? What do these Mexican restaurants serve? You know, you see what I'm saying? So you look at that, and with no nutritional value in the foods, or in some cases your body not having the ability to absorb it properly, then your body goes into a starvation mode. And you keep eating, and you keep eating, and you're still hungry, and you're getting bigger, and you're getting bigger. And you see, again, it's, you know, we're the most obese nation. And you see, that's the issue, guys. That's the issue. And you see, I, I see people, you know, that, that they're utilizing these five sciences, and all of a sudden, a few months later, they're like, wow, I dropped three dress sizes, or, or I lost, lost two notches in my belt. You see, it's not a fat loss program, but when the body begins to function normally, you'd be surprised how it begins to trim up and straighten up and repair and replace, and, and all these kinds of issues come back to play. You're sleeping better. Your energy's back. You've got a smile on your face now. You know, those things are that are important. You know, there's actually six ingredients that the body needs, or they're going to plant you in the ground, you're going to die. Number one is air. You make it about four minutes without air, right? And number two is water. You got about a week or ten days without water, and then you're going to start having some problems. We also know about the, the, the 26, the recommended daily allowance of vitamins, minerals, and trace elements. We know how important that is. If you don't have that, you're going to develop scurvy or beriberi or pellagra or one of these vitamin deficiency diseases. We now know about the eight essential amino acids. They come from proteins. You have to have them. We also know about the three essential fatty acids. You have to have them. And now we know that there are eight essential monosaccharides or simple sugars that your body has got to have. They are essential. Now, you have the power to change people's lives. I like what this, this card said in a hospice center. Never doubt that a small group of committed, caring individuals can change the world because, in fact, that's the only thing that ever has. There's somebody out there right now praying for something to help their son or their daughter. And I believe you have the power to answer that prayer if you'll reach out and just touch somebody with this technology and just tell somebody, look, I don't know much about this, and hand them a copy of this video and say, check this out. Check this out. And when you touch people's hearts with this technology, you see the kind of changes, the kind of impact, and the miracles that we see with this technology? It's incredible. I thank you for taking the time to sit down and, 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 and listen to this. If this is your first time hearing it. I hope it's not your last. In some cases, I've seen people that didn't know what this could do for them. It's okay. There's somebody standing right behind you that wants to know about this and what it might do for them. You may think, gee, I only know two or three people. But you know, you share this with a few people that you do know, it'll spread to thousands of people you don't know. And you'll reach out and you'll touch a life. And hopefully, in some cases, you're going to save a life.